Hello everyone, it's Veronica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog on Lovely War by Julie Berry and I'm really excited because I was really interested when I first got this online ordered and the prep the blurb had really interested me and also a lot of booktubers were talking about this book and that made me even more interested in buying this and I'm so glad that I got my copy of it and also the cover is really gorgeous so I'm really excited to read this. I'm going to take you along the journey and share my thoughts on what I thought about this book, how it's going so far and I think what I'll do is update you every so often, see how it's going. Maybe I'll come to a point where I'm like, ooh, I've got to share this and I will share it. So hopefully there won't be any spoilers but if there are spoilers then I will put the spoiler tag at the bottom for you guys to see and for you guys to skip as well as timestamps down in the description box below to help you guys out. Hopefully there won't be any spoilers but I make no promise because I do want to share my thoughts on this because I heard it was a really good book and I've been anticipating this book for so for quite a while so let's get started in reading. Hey guys I just want to give you an update on Lovely War. Uh, it is 9 22 right now and I got to page 61 my thoughts so far is that it's actually really good and that I'm I'm actually really enjoying it so far and I knew I was going to enjoy it and I'm pleasantly pleased. <laughs> So it's this, I don't think this is a spoiler because I did talk about it in my long-awaited book haul. What I didn't expect is the story it tells behind it. Obviously we know it deals with Aphrodite, it also deals with Ares, Apollo, and Hephaestus. So those I think are the four primary point of views we get from this story, which is great because I did, when I was flipping through, I noticed that the like beginning of it like the prologue it it's basically about kind of a modern retelling of when Aphrodite and Ares get caught under Hephaestus's golden net. I thought that was really interesting. That is a modern retelling so I wouldn't count that as a spoiler. Hello everyone, I would just like to mention that while I did mention that Aphrodite and Ares getting caught under Hephaestus's golden net might seem like a spoiler, uh, it does mention in various places like Goodreads and even by the author herself that they do get caught under the, under the net. So that is why you do not see the spoiler tag and also why I talk about it and mark it as a non-spoiler throughout the video. So I hope you guys understand that. What I think is that it, this has different stories to it. So we've got Aphrodite telling different stories of the characters she's telling, but I don't actually know what happens. I think it might be different stories that Aphrodite is retelling, or it might just be the same one, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I like the way it kind of- I like the way Aphrodite is narrating it because there's a lot of detail to it and the one thing I have to say is that it's kind of like a trial. They're kind of doing a trial and I think that's interesting, but I also wish that there was- it kind of didn't happen because I don't know I think you guys should read this to find out, but I do like it so far and I'm really enjoying it and so far I have no complaints, but so far the retelling, the narration, the story behind it, the time jump between the narration and the actual story is really good and I like it. It doesn't bother me, so I like it and I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, it is 1.54 right now and I just finished Act 1 and I'm about to start Act 2. I want to give you guys an update to where I am. Basically, spoilers. James has officially left England and gone to the war. This is in Apollo's narration, so it's pretty interesting. Basically, the 10 pages I just read were letters back and forth to each other between James and Hazel. They only had so little time together, so I just hope that they... <laughs> I hope nothing happens. I'm a little scared about the events that will happen. So we have James, we have Hazel, our couple, and then one of the guys that was introduced, his name is Aubrey Edwards, and he's a musician, which is why I think they brought Apollo in as a narration. So I'm really excited to find out what happens to Aubrey because we only got like two chapters with him. So I hope act two gets more of him and I'm really excited for that. Ooh. 
Ooh, so I think in some ways um, when I read in Goodreads, they're kind of all connected together. So I'm fascinated to see how they're stories intertwine and if Aubrey finds someone it was mentioned in the inside flap of the cover so I'm excited to find that out other than that I just wanted to give you an update on where I am and maybe I think I'll update you guys when I get to act three because on an, I might not even get to act three hopefully I get to act three today but we'll see because there's like five acts i think there are five acts to this story and i just finished act one so i have a lot to do i love a lot to read but other than that i'm so... Whew. i'm so excited to read this hopefully the next time i update you guys it will be act three hey guys so i'm still on act two so still have a long way to go but I'm really enjoying it. We have point of views we have gone are James and Hazel and I think our second couple, Aubrey and Colette. And I'm so excited because they're really cute and Aubrey and Colette have officially met. There are some really great moments where I was like in awe and then sad moments and then just really cute and funny moments and so far i'm absolutely loving it this book really it's so nice because it's not direct romance like some historical fiction that i've been reading and it's also not completely void of romance and also the narration is really good there's some parts and they've also included another narration hades so now we have aphrodite hephaestus apollo Ares and then Hades, but technically, technically Hephaestus doesn't narrate any of the any of the characters. He's just the judge, which I previously mentioned. This this trial is not in a court. It's actually based. They're in a hotel room. Hello guys. So I just want to add, feature Veronica here. Veronica here, by the way, that um this the trap, the myth of. Hephaestus trapping Ares and Aphrodite under the golden net. This is a modern retelling, obviously, in this book, and they are in a hotel room, but I do want to say that them being in a hotel room when they are trapped is not a spoiler because it is mentioned in Goodreads in basically everywhere, so it technically is not a spoiler as you can kind of search it up on the internet, so I hope you guys understand why I did not add the spoiler tag to it. So I hope you guys understand, and I will let you guys back to watching the rest of the video. The court section, the trial section in general is really eh. Like, that's the only part so far that I just completely disagree with. But everything else is good. I just hope that this trial does get better, and the reason for this trial is just will get better, you know? Because, I mean, I guess it makes sense why they're having it, but also at the same time, I feel that, I feel, I feel that it's really useless. So that's my thought. But other than that, I'm going to pick my bookmark back up and I will update you guys later. Hey guys, uh, it is 10 a.m. right now and I am on page 326 and I'm really nervous because of the things that have been happening in the past and obviously, you know, it's about World War One, so nothing is very good. Honestly, I'm just scared as to what is going to happen and the events will follow up i don't know what's gonna happen i think i just reached act four i'm really nervous to see what happens and i really do hope that the two couples james and hazel and then Kala and aubrey stay safe and that they're all okay by the end of the book i'm sure they are you never know with these like world war one kind of romances they're icky and it's just, just such a hard situation to get through but so far i'm absolutely loving this book i'm so nervous because i only have two acts act four and act five so i'm very scared as to see what happens and so far no real big issue no real big complaint <sighs> i'm really nervous uh hello i just finished lovely war and i have so good things to say about this book first off i'm 100 rating this a five because of how well it was written 
and I just really love historical fiction and this story really brought some of my favorite genres together and I absolutely loved it. I really liked the romance and it's not like full-blown like some historical romance that we read like Lisa Kleypas, Eloisa James, more well-known historical romance so this was a really nice balance between just the historical fiction aspect as well as the romance and i really like that i'm a huge fan of just normal historical fiction and then a historical romance to it so i'm really glad that this kind of had a mixture of both and i was a huge fan and also just the tension and there were some parts where i was like so scared at some parts where I nearly cried and some parts where I was just really shocked and there were things that was like honestly all in all very good book I would definitely recommend this book to anyone who has been considering it it was just so good to read and I love I finally I was complaining like probably this whole video about the court I finally realized what it was about and I understand that now I finally do so now that is not a single trouble I take back all my minor little complaints about the trial but I finally understand this book is 100% five stars for me and I'm so glad I decided to read this now rather than waiting I got this in maybe mid a mid what are we on we're in June I got this like mid May I think and I'm so glad I read it sooner 10 10 10 10 out of 10 recommend this book for anybody who's interested who loves historical fiction who loves historical romance and this does deal with current movements like black lives matter and just like the problems within it and i think for me i don't want to say anything that might offend people so all i'm saying is that i think it does it does a good job touching up on that if you're worried about maybe too much of it don't worry i think this has a good amount on it and there were just some moments broad terms and in general terms where i was like this is so sad there's so many things so many potentials that were just so heartbreaking this book doesn't just deal with world war one and romance it just it deals with so many things and i think it really touched up on each little detail really good besides the sad parts besides the more serious parts this was such a cute cute read the love was adorable so cute when each couple finally kissed i was like just it was amazing i was just like waiting for that day and then there were some very funny parts so some really cute moments and i absolutely loved it the detail the writing was splendid definitely would recommend for young adults what is it? Upper teens? Older teens? Just, you know, older teenagers going just very- <laughs> What is the word for it? <sighs> I'm one and I don't even know the word. Anyway, I would definitely tell you guys to go read this. If you guys have listened to the audiobook for Lovely War, I would love to hear if it's any good because I'm honestly willing to hear the audiobook as well. Anyway guys, I hope you guys like this reading vlog. I hope that none of the spoilers were too spoilery, but if you skipped the spoiler parts, don't worry about that. I hope that I didn't spoil as much for you guys because I do- I am afraid of spoiling. So if you guys want to read this and go check it out, I will put the Amazon link to this book down below and I'm sure you guys can hopefully check it out in your Libby for the audiobook and even reading copy of it. The the book co copy? I, I don't know. What is the the ebook co copy? Why? <laughs> okay, I'm okay, I promise. But this is so good and I would definitely recommend it. I had so much fun and if you guys were reading it along with me, what did you guys think of, of this book? And if you read it before in the past, I would love to hear what you guys thought of it. Did you guys rate it five stars? Stores? Did you guys rate it five stars or did you rate it any lower? And I would love to hear your thoughts. If you guys loved it like me or did you hate it? any type of thing i would love to hear down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and comment down anything in the comments and hit that like so i always say this but hit that red subscribe button and i will see you all next time bye